how how would you evaluate your season? Uh, I think we ain't done yet. You, but you personally, I think we ain't done yet. Marcus. <laughs> What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. And we got some big DC news. So just like a Reddit old housewife who has the fucking mouth of an XD25 Steel Edition vacuum cleaner, we're going to suck up this information and break this bitch down. Can you please bust that pussy open one time for me? Please? So right now, there is a big trending event for hashtag release the era cut, hashtag we still have So if you have Twitter, Instagram, social media, YouTube, your sister's ass, please go on there right now and do the damn thing and show support for my man David Ayer and Zack Snyder. And speaking of David Ayer, bro, he posted this. He answered a fan question saying, if given the budget, would he shoot additional scenes and change character designs back to his original concept the way they did with Steppenwolf and the Snyder Cut? And David Ayer responded with this. No need for reshoots, just some VFX work. So there you go. So David Ayer responded to another fan question. How different is this movie from the studio squad back in 2016, considering scenes, tone, score, acting, characters, and screen time? So someone who's not familiar with the Ayer cut. And David Ayer responded with this. Shockingly different apples and oranges. So if you're a Zack Snyder hater or a David Ayer hater or a typical NADS fan, or as I would like to call him, the human herpy with an afro, whose fans have a low IQ, lower than fucking Josh's hairline, this statement should put everything to rest. Because there are still people on Twitter and on my YouTube comments saying well this is not going to be any different from that 2016 film and obviously it's going to be very different very different vastly different it's going to be vastly superior to what we got from that inferior version back in 2016 and i love that david Ayer is constantly on twitter and just shutting down the haters like listen i got fucked over i got screwed so give me that Zack snyder treatment let me go back in restore my original vision which i thought was going to be announced on may uh 18th which obviously that wasn't the case so i'll take the l on that one because i'm slightly disappointed and i'm slightly bummed that david zasav didn't come out with the heat i thought he was gonna come out with an 18 inch cock and not a six inch one don't get excited josh what you say what you say again say it again I know some fans are bummed out that we didn't get an announcement on May 18th. I'm bummed out as well. But at the same time, I'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater and just give up on everything Snyderverse and Eric Cut. I was really hoping and the most logical conclusion to me was Warner Brothers Discovery Upfront was going to announce this big thing. This was their big coming out party. And I thought the most... A reasonable thing was okay since you're talking about streaming content on hbo max what better way to announce something so big and so huge for your platform than the air cut and have you know david air come on stage and be like yo air cut boom here we go and that would have been amazing that would have been great but it didn't happen so but just because it didn't happen on this day doesn't mean it's not gonna happen ever it's just gonna take a little while longer for that announcement to come and i'll fucking wait <laughs> Huh? This is for everyone you've killed! England murderer! Hold your fire! This man isn't black! What? And I completely understand the frustration that some fans are having because they're completely just... They're, they're tired of it. They're tired of the teasing. They're tired of the... Are they or aren't they? Is it going to happen this time? Is it going to happen next time? Is it going to happen right now? Is it going to happen tomorrow? Why is my hairline so fucked up like Josh? Why do I have that fucking Eddie Diaz human herpes face? What's going on? Talk to me. And that's the problem that David Zaslav and his team are having right now is because they're not communicating with their fan base. It's only fans can only do so much and give so much and give and give and give and give without receiving anything in return and not getting anything to warrant their loyalty to Warner Brothers in DC. So they need to start working on something to give us the fans hope. You know what? Forget I said anything. I am a ride or die Snyderverse fan, bro. I want this shit to continue, but I understand that at the same time that I'm not everyone. Not everyone is going to have the same level of patience that I do. So some fans are going to be like, you know what? I love Zack Snyder. I love DC, but deuces. Like, why am I going to waste my time with this bullshit if David Zaslav and his team are not promising anything? And, and I know it's, way, it's still way too early, so I'm going to give it a little bit more time. 
and I'm going to wait until like maybe October-ish to see if they announce DC Fandom. And if at DC Fandom, we get no hints at anything Air Cut or Snyderverse, then I think it's time to start having conversations like, okay, like what are we going to do? Like what's the next logical step before, we, before we're like, you know what? Deuces, we're out of here. Miss me with that gay shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Fuck you, me. Fuck. However, it's still way too early. We're still in the war. And the war takes time. We're still in the fight. We're still in the battle. We're still kicking ass. We got the starter cut, so we already won that part. So let's just keep on fighting, keep on hashtagging, and let one brother discovery know we want the air cut and we want the Snyderverse. But as always, my beautiful these brothers and sisters, that's gonna be it. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord to join the Truth Army. Share the video, like the video, if you'd be so kind. And as always, put your comments down below and tell me what you think. They think Troth, the Snyderverse is dead. David Zazav is not restoring shit. Let it go, you cultists. Or do you think Truth? I'm with you. It's still too early. We're still gonna keep fighting. We're still. We're still going to keep supporting. And uh, let's make sure we get David Ayer's Suicide Squad cut because he deserves it. And as always, you sexy some bitches, You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. Love you guys. Stay safe. And as always, truth out. She belongs to the streets.